Hello friends and welcome back to To Restore You. It is Angela and before we get started let's do a quick shout out to all of those who have subscribed and who have commented. We've got Cezanne Vintage World and Rick Rack Ribbons to thank for um, your comments and for subscribing and for just all of your support for Dave and I. Uh, we appreciate it. So we have a thrift haul today. In fact, I have several thrift hauls I need to do. So I think I'm going to try to do a series of these so that I can clear all this off and put it in their respective places. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to push this aside. <clears throat> this is from a recent uh, auction. These are from Lulu Temple. And I believe this one is from, I think, Pennsylvania. But... If you are not familiar with Lulu Temple, these are um, from the Shriners. And look at that. These are from 1925. So cool. I mean, there's not a lot of tons, or there's not a ton of images in there. Um, but they're just cute little, little books. So I got two of those and one cover. This is from 1923. Look at that. This would make a cute little pocket or even um, a cover, a piece on a cover. Look at that. And I have a friend of mine who um, is in the Shriners. And so I did show them to him because I was like, oh, I don't want to. I don't want to do these. This is just the cover from 1925, but just kind of cute. I don't want to cut these up if they're like something that <clears throat> the Shriners would, you know, want or good value, but they must not be too valuable. Um, this was in that same lot from that auction. Uh, this is Bobby and Betty at Play. And I don't, gosh, it's been so long. This is from 1927. And look at these pictures. I love the look of these. So, so cute. And the typography is just the typography fonts. <laughs> so cute. So that was fun. Uh, then I got two of the Metropolitan Mother Goose books. And they're the very same. But they're from Metropoli Metropolitan Life Insurance Company. And again, look at the photo or at the images. And this one didn't have any kind of copyright on it, which was kind of a bummer. Or at least, you know, to tell me what year it was from. But gosh, you could just imagine. I mean, you could fussy cut. You could... You know, make this into a pocket. You could collage it. Look at that. The dish, the spoon, the cat and the fiddle. Oh, so pretty. And this isn't very big. These are, um, let's see. These are only just under five and a half by just under eight. So they would be perfect to fit in a journal. And then there's some random just stuff. So this looks like it's from an almanac. It's from 1934. These would be great for collage to put into little snippets. The paper is extremely fragile. I love to read these though. Oh, wait, this is not. Outdoors adored, indoors ignored, bad breath. Hmm. You know what? Wait a minute. Let's look at this first. Let's see it's falling apart. A blessing for tired housewives. Why well, I need that? What is it? Uh, we have a hard job. Your duties last from early morning till late at night. Oh my goodness, it's about constipation. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. They really know how to pull you in. Okay, so there's weather predictions. 
It phases them in. Yeah, so this must be an almanac, but there's historical events. They talk about patents, who was, when Wilson was elected, on what dates. That's cool. Okay, there you go. So I've got those. And then some more almanacs from 1935. This one is Dr. Morse, Morse's Indian Root Pills. But look at the advertisements in here. I think it's interesting. I guess, I don't know. I mean, when I think almanac, I think farmer's almanac, right? But I guess the sponsor was the Indian Root Pills, but it looks like all these advertisements are very much uh, geared towards women. Parents, is this your child? <laughs> Don't put a handicap on your children by letting them go to school unfit and with no pep. Good. We're talking about constipation. Uh, okay. And round worms and pinworms. Well, the problems of then and versus the problems of now. <laughs> oh, yikes. Um, let's see. There's another one. Oh, this one looks like it was just the cover. A little Sleuthies gift from Chris Kringle. A toy store story from Wanamaker's. Oh, interesting. It's just a couple little pages. Cute. This is from Pacific Greyhound Lines. And it's about the Redwoods, but it looks like it's like the bus company, not like the train company. Oh, that's cool. With the map. I have not opened this up. Oh, oh no, it doesn't do that. It goes like this. This is neat. That's one place I have not been. If you guys are from California, you're lucky that you can have that so close. But I would really like to go there. Fishing and Hunting Paradise. So there was that little guy in there. And then this is from a zoo. It doesn't look as old, but it's um, Pageant of Wonder, Beauty, and Awe. Wait your gaze in a new making world of wonderful wonders of animal life but I, I did not see what the greatest zoo on earth does it say on here oh I think it's just an advertisement saying the greatest zoo on earth is actually buying these books and so you have everything at the at the at your fingertips Dr. Pierce's Book of Fortune. Does this have a date? Ooh, we can all do our... Let's see, I'm in Aries. Let's see what it says. If you were born in this period, the fiery sign of Aries, the ram, will dominate your life. You are likely to take some of his characteristics to be headstrong, dashing, greater in bravery than in prudence. Probably you are are of the active, vigorous type. You may have the long head, you may have the long head, so characteristic of Aries people. You can exert considerable energy and strength, but do not like to do so for a long period. You have a vivid imagination and are quick to learn, but do not like to study. Yeah, well, I kind of do. You are aggressive and ambitious, but are more interested in things far away than those near at hand, as I just start, talk about travel, huh? <laughs> you are the kind of person who creates inventions, discovers new arts and sciences, and explores new lands, but you do not take material advantage of your talents. Once your desire is obtained, you lose interest in it. Okay, that is so true because once I've tried something like a new technique or a new project, I'm like, okay, did that, moving on to the next thing. Uh, you are excitable and impulsive. You are easily angered but quickly to forgive. Mm, no. I probably was when I was younger, maybe. You are strong in your beliefs and will fight for them. You are occasionally in trouble, but <laughs> are clever enough to get out of it easily. You think quickly in emergencies, but do not like to plan for a distant future. You are apt to marry young and be unhappily married if you are not careful. Um, 
yeah, that happened. Uh, where was this when I got married the first time? You make friends readily, but have difficulty in holding them. Mm, also not true. You are honest and generous if you think money will be rightly spent. It is not likely that you are a good author or correspondent, but you should be an excellent speaker. Well, I'd say a lot of that is very true. I was a professional speaker and instructor for many years, so there's that. These are always fun. I found another one of these with the um, zodiac signs, and it was a whole book, and it had like chapter after chapter on each zodiac sign, and Dave was analyzing uh, the Aries, and he was having a hoot. And I'm like, how about we analyze you, bud? Girlhood, womanhood, motherhood. Well, this is cute. I may have to read through this just because I, I don't know. I love reading through these and just thinking back in the day. It's kind of like what I do when I get vintage photos and I'm like, okay, what? Let's just imagine what these people were doing. And I just make up stories about, you know, where they were at, what they were doing, who these people were. <laughs> this is Carstairs Party Book. This doesn't look that old. I mean, it's probably 60s, 70s. But the pages are really nice. It's party day at your house. Oh, and look, and it tells you how many guests you're having, how much you need for alcohol, how many cocktails you can expect out of it. Well, this is just not a very bad little handy guide to have. Very cute. And I like the pink pages. This would be fun to put like in a Mad Men type of journal, which I've always wanted to do. And I, I call it Mad Men, but I'm thinking like a 50s journal. Swamp Root. There's lots of these little tiny things in here. Let's see. Does it say when this is from? Hmm. 1933. Just mini... Almanac. So these, there's so many things that we can do with these. I might have to put a couple of these on the Etsy shop because I'm certainly not going to use all of those. And then this is just The Night That Santa Cried by Benson. Benson Manufacturing Company. So I think they just did these little ads to kind of promote themselves as little, you know, they tuck them in. You could pick them up at the, at their business or they might mail them. Maybe as a thank you to their customers. This was kind of fun. This is going to go on the Etsy shop. It is missing one um, of the characters. But this is a Charlie McCarthy radio party. And it came in the kit. And so this little guy, there's only three of him. Um, but they're so cute. And it says, <clears throat> Edgar Bergen. Tells you who they are. Robert Armbruster. And I don't, I don't know, was this a, sh well, it must have been a, it was a radio show, but what I'm thinking, because Charlie McCarthy was the, you know, the dummy and the ventriloquist deal, I, I'm thinking they did TV at some time. Dorothy Lamore, Don Amici, how cute is that? So that was in that little pack, and it's even got the spinny thing, and the directions and rules for playing. So as long as you're okay with only three Nelson Eddies, this would be fun. But these would be super cute, like to use in a in a journal, because they're like your paper dolls. They're like Tim Holtz paper dolls before they existed, and they're really heavy, heavy stock. So there are those. Uh oh, somebody just lost an arm. We can fix that. Oh, it was Dorothy. Poor Dot. Ah, uh, let's see. Then we have. Favorite Mother Goose Rhymes. I, this is like really thick paper. Let's see. 35, 30, 1937. Look at how pretty those are. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I can tear this apart. The images are just gorgeous. This might be a... Uh, Put it on the shop. 
Unless somebody out there says, I really want that. And then you just message me and we'll get you taken care of. Look at that. This is in fabulous shape. By the Platt and Monk Company Incorporated. So cute. Um, and then I got I one thing I really want to show you, but I'm going to save it for a little bit later. But I did get a couple magazines. This is 1934. This is a Vanity Fair. Which these always have <clears throat> really cool illustrations and like fashions and um, Marlena Dietrich. But this is in pretty fragile, a pretty fragile state. And I've got a bunch of old magazines that need, oh my gosh, look at that. Those are some hot looking shoes. Can't you imagine in the 30s them wearing that with like a seersucker suit? I totally can. So there was two of these. But anyway, I have a bunch of magazines like this. I have Look magazines and um, Calling All Girls. And actually those, I need to get those up on the shop because I'd have a, another Thrifty Thursday and I promised they would be up. I think I promised they would be up there on that. Um, so I think I'm going to just do like vintage magazines and then just say, you know, each kind that I have and people can pick. I don't know. I have, it takes a little bit of time. So maybe I'll just put each one of them on there. But I just love these. These also, well, these are pretty slick. I mean, they don't work as well, but, um, you've probably seen where I actually make my own washi, but just like tape and pull up the, the pictures. I did that on a video a while ago. White Rock Water. Hmm. Very cute. So there are two of those. And then I need to do some investigation. Unless one of my viewers really knows their art. But it looks like these are all etchings. And there's one. There's three. Um, and it looks like L. S. So L would be the first name. Or it could be a J. And then it's S-I-W and either two L's and an S or a B-L-S. And it says, this one says Lenora. I don't know. It's going to take me some time. But I love anything that has to do with art, so I'm fine with it either way. Um, here's another one. And I'm thinking this was from a different, yeah, this one's from someone else. This says either... Hmm. Genove? It doesn't look like Geneva, but possibly. Um, and then this could be I don't know. This might be from like a father because it says I don't know. I don't know if that's an F or a J. I can't read this one at all. But they're kind of cool. So I'll do some research and then likely, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what we're going to do with those. But that was all of the paper goods that I got. And then I had, oh no, it's actually not. Um, I got some little leather books, three of them that came in that. And then this one, this is what I would call faux leather. But you know what? I think this would be really cute to put in a journal. It's vintage. You can put stuff in it. Somehow, it should go in a journal. And then these are, it looks like um, these were probably from that Shriners as well. So it's like their um, registration cards. Yeah, and then this is from IOF. But there's some of their little, I'm legitimate, let me in without having to use some secret super duper password. So there was that. And then this is leather and it's so pretty. It's for, oh, there's a stamp. Um, it's, these are from 1914 and I think these will just make fabulous in 1918, um, digitals. Like I love it when there's things crossed out and there's, you know, it says chairs, can't read that, uh, alcohol, battery charge, oil, gas, spark plug, plugs.
There's lots of alcohol on here. Like, almost on every page. <laughs> I'm assuming that's drinking alcohol, not like, but maybe it's something else. Bond. Oh, interest received. I just, I love these. Again, it just takes you back. Oh, here's car. Horse feed bought. Hmm. Dave and I love going through these. And this one is full to the very end. Aunt Sally. Aunt Sally. Oh, this is, this talks about people when they were married and maybe they're, when they died. I don't know. Interesting, but very cute. <clears throat> and then this last one, I don't know if you can see it. Probably not. But it says class autographs and it's got the original ribbon on it. It's in really great um, shape. This is from the Church Street School. Class of sixth and seventh grade. Um, but look at those. Aren't those sweet? Class officers. And then you get your autographs. Remember me on the river. Remember me on the lake. Remember me on your wedding day. And save me a piece of cake. Your pal, Jan. This is from 1936. Roses are red, violets are blue, sugar is sweet, just like you. Oh, there's more roses are red. Oh, roses are red, violets are blue, vinegar is sweet compared to you. Oh my goodness. Who is that? Mary. My dog. There's not a lot of um, little autographs in here, but I'm back a person with them upside down. But I love the colors of the papers. And then there's lots and lots of blank ones here. Well, maybe there's not as many blank ones as I thought. I guess it, there's a few. But just really cute. Um, and then the last thing, I think I might keep one of these and then the rest are going to go into my shop because I think the, there is some serious potential for mixed media, for arts and crafts, for displaying these. Like this would be cute to even somehow um, back and put in a frame. Like for kids' rooms, it would be adorable. I think in home decor, but we got a rabbit. Let's see what else we got. Oh, I think this is a sheep. I'm going to move this so I can keep these together. A rabbit. A sheep. But I mean, you could do like tucks and pockets on a whole page. And they are, these are uh, not quite seven and a quarter by an inch and five eighths. Little sheep. Oh, this one's going to be a lion. Aren't those cute? There's no dates on these, but clearly they're very old. Oh, here's... This one looks a little bit like Ruby. I got these before we got Miss Ruby. By the way, if you're wondering, she is doing great. She still can't be, like, socialized much until... She's had all of her shots, but she has made her debut at our office. And Dave has her this week, and he's you know, having a heyday with her, which is exactly what he was hoping for. And she is um, ten and a half weeks old, and she is, according to him, she knows how to sit. They're working on heel. She is fairly potty trained she did she was ringing the bell like we have a bell I, I don't know I might have to keep the puppy and the kitty or at least the puppy because it looks like her um she was ringing the bell when she had to go out when she was here um and I did take an extra bell to put on the door for and what I'm talking about is 
every time we take her out, I would ring the bell and then she would learn that that's how um, it was her indication to tell me that she needed to go out. Um, but I don't know if they're really good about letting her out a lot. So I don't even know if she's had to. That camel is cute. So yes, Ruby is doing well. They're coming today. I'm um, doing this on a Friday. I'm not sure when it'll air because it'll probably be a while. I've got several thr Thrifty Thursdays already done. The cow. Um, but they are coming today. It's Friday. And she likes to dry ride in the car. She doesn't really like her bed. She would rather sit right next to Dave, which is funny. And then finally the fox. But these are fantastic. And like I said, um, maybe one of them I will keep. And then the rest will all go into the shop. And if I only had, I mean, I just had somebody who loved to take photos and loved to put listings on Etsy. I would be a happy, happy girl. Unfortunately, I haven't found that person and my children don't seem to really be into it. So, <laughs> uh, well, anyway, friends, I hope you enjoyed our Thrifty Thursday haul today. And if there's anything that you see, you know, it's going to take me quite a while to get all of this posted. So if there's something that you see and you're really interested in it, you just let me know. Um, you know, send me an email or reach out to me if you're uh, on our Facebook page, on Two Restore U VIP page. You know, or you can just put it in the comments if you want. So um, I hope you all have a fabulous day. Remember to take time to just be, and we'll talk to you next time. Cheers.